Hello and welcome to the Daily Decrypt. Hooey! Come and get your currency competition. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by Expanse. Why does this rock, and yes, this is a pretty little piece of rock, why does it sell for 300 US dollars? Aside from its use in jewelry and electronics, the rock gold is given a great deal of value by many people as a hedge against government monies. And when I say hedge against government monies, what I mean is that there is a history of government monies being what's called hyperinflated to do things like pay for wars or fund the luxurious lifestyles of non-producing politicians. And based, long story short, it results in a people buying loaves of bread with barrels full of government money, that sort of thing. So to protect themselves from the risk of that happening to the government currency that they use, a lot of people will pay a lot of money to hold little pieces of rocks. The difference between these two is that this one is exceptionally difficult to create more of, whereas this one can be printed up in a sketchy RV, or in a sketchy basement, or in a sketchy big fancy building. So if this one is such a superior form of money, why is it not used nearly as much, or even ever, in comparison to this one? Well, let's do a little thought experiment that kind of borders on real life. I found this extremely groovy sort of mp3 player on Amazon recently, and it was like six dollars or something, shipping from China. So righteous, so cheap. And let's imagine that I wanted to pay for it with a good, sound, solid money. Like this. To get six dollars worth of this piece of rock, I would need only to shave off the proper amount with a file and weigh it on a scale and wrap it in a padded envelope and insure it, as in give the envelope insurance, which would probably cost more than this. And by the time the envelope landed in China two weeks later, the gold shavings may have fluctuated in value and the seller might even find himself out on what his profit margin would have been. Clearly, this absurd example demonstrates why. Why gold, though it is such a superior money, is not used to buy things. If only there were a way that one person could send digital gold to another person in a peer-to-peer -peer sort of fashion, you might call it. In other words, if only gold came with its own payment network. Welcome to cryptocurrency, my friends. It's going to take over the world. Today's episode is brought to you by Expanse, which is a contract and application platform on Ethereum. The Expanse blockchain is democratically managed through cryptographic votes, and you can learn more about the tech and its team by visiting expanse.tech. And I encourage you to share this video with a gold bug you know today, because who doesn't love gold, and who doesn't want to be able to send its digital equivalent to Chen in China? Have a good day. And a hacked device with private keys on it means lost money. That is why the dear old market gave us the solution of hardware wallets. 